Good morning and happy Thursday to all of you Honors English 2 students. Um, I wanted to just do a quick check-in video for those of you especially that don't like to read the lengthy posts that I put up. Um, I wanted to check in with you about your essays. So as a reminder, Monday by midnight is going to be the due date for your argumentative essays. Um, and I've been reading through some of the introductions, which have been really nice. Um, so look for feedback on your introductions no later than probably this afternoon. Um, in addition to the introductions, the next assignment that I'm going to post that will be a graded assignment is going to be a um, for you to choose one of your body paragraphs and copy and paste that in. Um, so that should hopefully be a little bit of a, a, a fire for some of you to, to get going on this essay if you haven't already done so. Um, but I wanted to, just because of what I've seen and some of the introductions I've looked at so far, give you guys a resource to look at. So this is the um, Seventh Hour Serial Podcast Google Classroom page. And again, it's the same exact thing for Eighth Hour. Um, so if you scroll down to our post that I put up um, a little bit ago before our discussion, there are two documents. And I really don't care which document you look at because the part I'm gonna look at and explain to you right now is the part that I wrote. So it's the same on both of them. So if you open that up, this is where you can find a lot of the resources for your essays. Um, so first off, the first word on this page, when you open it up, for those of you that weren't in the discussion, um, is an example of the argumentative essay. And I would like you guys to utilize that, especially when you start writing your papers. So I'll get to there. One of the things that I saw in looking at your introductions is that some people um, did not have the the thesis that was 100% clear. So if you are one of those people where I mentioned that you need to improve your thesis, um, remember that you really only have two options for this paper. This is a formal argumentative essay, which means I don't need you to tell me. I think Adnan should be found guilty. I think Adnan is innocent. Um, but more what I'm looking for is that formal academic third person, based on the evidence in this podcast, Adnan should not have been convicted of the murder, or he was right convicted of the murder. So you can play with the wording on that however you want, but that's really what your argument of essay thesis should be. Now on this same document, if you scroll down, it explains how to come up with the next step, which would be those first sentences of your body paragraphs for this essay. Um, we call those minor claims. So you would look through here and you can get some different ideas about how to structure and how to come up with these minor claims, or you can email me. I'm really happy to help you. Um, I did put additional links on the bottom of uh, this page. Um, I'm gonna open up this one first because this is referring to those minor claims. So if you listen to all the podcast episodes and you're having a trouble figuring out what are these three or four or five body paragraphs I'm writing, what are they supposed to be about? Well, if you don't think that Adnan should have been convicted, if you're in the camp of people that thinks he's probably innocent or at the very least should not have been uh, put in jail for life plus 35 years, then you're going to choose some minor claims. One of the options is to choose minor claims from this column over here. All right. Each of these goes in order um, and focuses on a claim that you can make based on a podcast episode. So if you really liked the first episode where it basically outlined, you know, the whole thing about Adnan not remembering the day and Jay saying that Adnan did it, your first paragraph might start with one of the reasons Adnan should not have been convicted of murder is that Jay is lying and Adnan, Jay is lying about Adnan and the events of the day that Hay was murdered. And then you would use the rest of this paragraph and give different evidence that went along with this claim. All right. If you are in the camp of considering these other witnesses, or sorry, not witnesses, these other suspects, maybe you focus on Mr. S in episode three. So another body paragraph begins, Mr. S and the other persons of interest were not investigated closely enough by police and are legitimate suspects, which is another reason why Adnan should not have been convicted. So these are your basic paragraph starters. All right, so going back now to the first thing that I opened up here, which was the sample research paper. This is the one that I tried to share with you guys on um, the discussion day, but you said you couldn't see the comments. So I just wanna walk you through on here um, one specific part of, um, or one specific paragraph, just so you can kind of see how it's structured um, and maybe feel a little bit better about this. 
All right, so if you are using um, this as kind of like a reference, you don't need to use it as an exact outline. Um, I labeled all of the sentences. So this body paragraph begins, first, it's important to examine the relationship between Adnan and Heyman Lee. This is not necessarily an argument, but I would say that this is a really nice transition sentence. Um, and it can be noted that on the example, this person is arguing that Adnan should not have been convicted. Okay, so the first minor claim, the first thing that this person is going to argue in this paper is, um, in bold, the two according, had, according to those who knew them, a normal teenage relationship. This is minor claim number one. All right, now, according to our argumentative um, outline, which we talked about before we began this unit, you guys took notes on that little Prezi thing that I did. Um, the next thing that you need to include after you have um, your minor claim, all right, that you had a normal relationship, is you need to give some evidence. So the next bit of this paragraph goes through some evidence. The two loved each other and were together, and maybe even after they broke up, um, but it was a forbidden love due to Adnan's Muslim background and Hay's Asian background. Hay had written multiple times in her diary that Adnan was sweet to her and showed how much he cared for her. And then the proper citation in text whenever you're citing these um, episodes is Sarah Koenig's last name. And then because there are so many episodes, you need to specifically list what episode it's talking about. So this was from the breakup. Um, all of the episode titles are listed at the top of your notes packet. Okay, so after you have the evidence, then you need sometimes um, your warrant. And the warrant is what connects the two. So if you're telling me they had a normal relationship and you're telling me that she wrote in her diary about how much she loved him, the warrant is that explanation part of the sentence. Many teenagers experience the intense passion of young love, and Hay's notes in her diary are proof that they were like any normal couple. Adnan never once showed an evil side of him to Hay. Okay, so now that connects it all together. Okay, so now, because we don't want to come up short and we really need more than one example to tell us that they had a normal relationship, we need some more evidence. So the next set of evidence in this paragraph, from what a friend of theirs remembers, the entire relationship was just a silly teenage high school relationship, meaning it was completely typical. All right, and again, our citation. If necessary, add a warrant. While their relationship was normal, their breakup was also much like young couples. They got over it easily. Both Adnan and Hay moved on. So we kind of connect their silly teenage relationship with this idea that everything about their relationship was normal um, with that warrant. Um, now, you don't have to have three pieces of evidence in one paragraph. This person did, and it's just being thorough, okay? Um, so the next bit... In the same episode of that podcast series, a friend of Adnan noticed no change in Adnan after the two separated. He said that Adnan's behavior didn't change. He did the same things just with different people. Now, because um, we mentioned in the same episode of that podcast series at the beginning of the sentence, you don't need a citation. So this sentence works as evidence. And then again, we can see that there is a warrant. Adnan was talking to multiple girls after the breakup, which shows his feelings were never hurt or damaged. So explicitly stating what I'm supposed to think with that evidence. Now that we have all of the evidence and the warrants out there, the last part of your body paragraphs should include, because we talked about argumentation, a counterclaim and a rebuttal. So the counterclaim is, okay, this person's arguing that their relationship was totally normal and so was their breakup, but you might want to bring in what the opposing side would think. So those that think Adnan is guilty might think that their relationship was not normal and that he was really, really hurt by this. So you want to introduce your counterclaim here so that you can refute it. So the counterclaim the student introduces is, one thing that some may bring up is that Aisha, a friend of Hay's, did mention that Aunt Adnan was constantly lurking around and paging Hay to get her attention. Again, this counterclaim has um, a citation because it's from episode two. Now you bring this information up because we know that Aisha thought afterwards, you know, as Hay's best friend, maybe he did do it because, um, you know, there's this evidence, there's the I, I, I want to kill letter, whatever you decide to use. But the important part of bringing up the counterclaim is that you have a rebuttal. So this student's rebuttal is, while this behavior would point to Adnan being obsessive and controlling, to Adnan, it was necessary part of their relationship because his parents were against any form of dating. He had to be secretive when talking to her on the phone to avoid both of them getting in trouble. They both took the required steps to sustain their secretive relationship. So this is where you take the counterclaim and you make it so that it actually strengthens your argument overall. Okay, so this is saying some people might say that this is bad. However, really, those people are overreacting and we can see that this is why he did that. 
Okay. Now at the end of your paragraph, because you don't want to end on this detail, you need to either reiterate, not repeat, not copy and paste your overall claim, or if necessary, qualify it. So the qualifier, if you remember back to our argument um, notes, was that not everything can be 100% true. So back in, a, uh, in the beginning of this paragraph, our overall claim was the two had a normal teenage relationship. Now, maybe that's not 100% true. So this person decided to end this um, with a concluding sentence of based on the evidence of their ephemeral relationship, meaning short lived, things between them were normal during both their time, during both during their after, both during and after their time as a couple. So he would not have been motivated to kill her. So this person again reiterates that overall claim, and that's one body paragraph. Okay. Now, if you're looking back at the assignment and at the word count, I also stated that this is a good essay to look at because this essay is four pages um, and this meets the required word count. Okay. The only thing that this example is missing is a works cited page, but I'll put up a really short video tomorrow explaining and giving you an example of a works cited page. The last thing that I want you to be aware of that you have at your disposal, if you really like that format for the body paragraph, um, at the bottom of the document for either discussion, there is a helpful link that says this is an outline for a single body paragraph in the essay. And if you open it up, it tells you exactly how you can structure this. Now, to answer any questions, no, you will not be marked off if you do not use this exact same model. But please know that when I grade these papers, I'm looking to see, do you have a minor claim? Probably most importantly, do you include enough evidence and do you explain it if necessary? Do you have a counterclaim and a rebuttal? So I'm looking for all the parts, even if it doesn't necessarily go in this specific order or have this uh, many examples of evidence, okay? So hopefully this kind of helps you guys as you start writing your papers. Um, feel free to email me. Um, if you shared your essay with me, you can kind of just email me and ask me what you want me to look at, and I can go directly onto your document. But like I said, your introductions should have comments on them and be returned to you graded by this afternoon. Tomorrow's assignment that will be posted is going to be to give me at least one body paragraph, so just to give you a heads up on that. All right. Um, hope you guys are doing well. FYI, April 23rd, Shakespeare's birthday, so... Maybe a little shout out. Happy birthday, Shakespeare. Okay. Bye, guys. Miss you.